Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out really, really, really weird products. I have a bin that is bordering on uh, some of the most ridiculous things I have ever, ever put in one of my like weird products to try later. Maybe an OMG, maybe this. And um, we're going global with it. I have a few things that I saved from Thailand. I visited Thailand over the summer. A lot of you guys know that. And I have some newer stuff too, like peel off glitter polish. I'm gonna paint my nails with this and see what happens, um, which is kind of sad because I actually am like super duper in love with my nail polish right now. But we all know what happens with sparkle. It's a pain to take off. It's just like, ugh. Like, have you ever just like, you're like, oh, like this. I went and had sparkle polish one time removed at a nail salon that was like not gel. And I was just getting another manicure and she literally was taking out the thing, like the little grinder, like it was gel polish. And I'm like, um, excuse me, this is, um, this is not gel. And she's like, it's not gel, it's not coming off. And I'm like, oh Lord. Um, so, you know, the struggle is real when it comes to removing glitter polish. Now, if this works, then this could be like our prayers answered, peel off glitter. I also think, you know, for little girls, this could be really fun. If I were a kid and this was available, I would be like so all about it. And I have a gold shade and I have a silver shade. And actually Erica and I got this when we were shopping at Ulta. As far as like the most ridiculous that's in here, I really wanna call James out to try this. <laughs> I forgot that I had purchased this. Okay, so I have a big story with this. Yes, this is Beauty and the Beast and it's men's makeup. I picked this up in Thailand. It literally says for men and it has the beast on here, which is um, my favorite Disney movie. I love Beauty and the Beast. And it was always my goal to end up with someone who was like really scary that I could turn into a handsome prince. I think I'm just kidding. Um, Belle was my Disney princess. Like that was just, I had the comforter as a kid. I had like the video games. I had the coloring books. I had a freaking sweatshirt. I knew every single word to every song in my whole family at so many different points growing up were like, stop, 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 stop. I was that kid. Anyway, uh, this is an oil control powder for all the beasts out there. I'm gonna get James out here to try this. Anyway, um, I have also this right here, which we're gonna start out with because I need to take my lip off because we have lip things to play with. So this is actually uh, Vlada's Midi Pout. This is a lip remover uh, little cloth, I believe. I have not even opened this guy up. Now Vlada, oh my gosh, ooh, look. Very strange. <laughs> Vlada does the coolest lip art of all time. Oh my gosh, she is just genius with it. So that's what she's known for. She does a lot of creative with lip products for Smashbox. She had her own collection with them. I met her on the brand trip to Fiji and she's just like such a doll. So this is a little makeup removing guy, I guess you would just like remove your lips with this little lip shaped cloth. We're going to try this out. And then I have Project Lip. This is a matte plumping primer. What on the actual earth? Why would there be a lip plumper that is completely matte that you put underneath things? Is this going to work? Is it not? We're going to find out together. I also have these uh, little fun <laughs> lipstick matches. So you could just like toss this in your back pocket and like, I guess, put on your lipstick and it's coated on a little match. Maybe. Also, I have peel off eyeliner and a weird Mickey Mouse 3D brow. Yay for all of this. Let's dive in, hop, and try it all on. So I need to remove the gloss, at least, I think, from my lip. How does this work? Unlike pads and disposable wipes, use your pout again and again. Love that. Yes, save the planet. For extra gentleness, dampen with water first, or you can apply a cleansing potion to your pout. And what you do is you remove lipstick, even long wear with ease. Here we go. That's not bad, dude. I have a full on liquid lip on. And I didn't put anything on this thing except for water. What? You gotta be kidding me. I look so good right now. Ooh, I look like I just like had a really big makeout session. 
that worked surprisingly well. And I look like I, I know, I, I know we're going to fix it, but I have to tell you guys, I am not wearing one, but I am wearing two red liquid lips. Okay. So I was wearing the Koki lip powder, demonstrating it in a video that I filmed before this one. And then I was so curious to try this out. This is lethal liquid lips and I wanted to try this combo right here, which turned out so beautiful, you guys. These are gorgeous. And I love supporting an indie brand when I find great products from an indie brand. Like I have to give the love, I have to. So this is Transient and the shade Tempest. One is a liquid lip, one is a gloss. So I had the red Koki on underneath and I didn't take it off because I'm lazy. And I put this on top of it to kind of change the mood. And then I waited for it to dry. And then I put this one on top of that and that's a lot of red lips. That's a lot of pigment. And so for this to take the whole thing off with no oil or makeup remover at all, shut up. That is so cool. Great for your skin because you're not putting anything really on it, you know, as far as any irritants, fragrance, you're not wasting any product. It's eco-friendly. I think this is a big win. I really like it. Wow, we need to fix my face though. Okay, I wanna put on this matte plumping primer. This is one of those things that wound up in my PR or in my, at the post. I had never heard of this brand. It just says, apply generously on the lip and over the lip line, warning product will tingle. Survey says, let's just look online and make sure there's nothing crazy in here. Okay, I found this on the web for Look Up Project Live. She hates me, I swear to God. Give me another chance. Oh my God, it's like she hung up on me. Siri, Project Lip. Okay, I found this on the web for matte plumping primer. I am really trying to get better with my phone because I feel like I'm that person that like goes down like five different avenues to get where I'm going and everyone's like, just use Siri. And I'm like, well, we don't get along. She hates me. She can't understand me for whatever reason. And then she like pops up out of nowhere. Like if I'm not trying to talk to her and then all of a sudden she's like, hey, I'm here. And I'm like, no, just wait, just, uh. It says that it is cruelty-free and uses 100% natural ingredients. Now that does not always mean that the ingredients are great. Deep in the education, just a word of advice from me to you. This actually does not look terrible. All right, let's go for it and see what happens. Maybe it'll be like the best new discovery. If we put this on before your liquid lip and then all of a sudden you're like matte liquid lip, you're like, Ouch, it actually got rid of really stinks. Let's make my eyes water. I feel like this is take two of me and James Charles when he was here and we did the lip plumping thing and I like started drooling and it got very dramatic. Oh shoot. It's fine at first. Wow! <gasps> this does not feel good. Oh my God, James. They look huge. They look huge. It burns. Oh, I'm getting hot. Oh, I need to take this off. I don't think that this is really worth it. Oh, God. No, Jesus, take the wheel. I can't. I will never use that again. I am so sorry to this company. A lot of people like this kind of an intense plumping thing. I don't, I can't handle it. Woo, oh my gosh. We're gonna go into the sorry, not sorry <laughs> matchstick lipstick. And hopefully this is not a spicy item, even though it's in the form of what is made to create fire. So here we are. This is by Red Earth. I actually really dig their products. That's kind of cute. I've been testing out some of their skincare because they use a lot of really wonderful ingredients. Not everything I love, you know, again, I think there's a lot of heavy emollients, heavy oils, and sometimes it can be too much. So I'm being, you know, picky and choosy, but there are a few items, toners, serums, uh, that I'm really, really enjoying and they're not crazy, crazy expensive, but the quality is top notch. So Red Earth is something worth looking into. They are an Australian brand and I feel like I can't talk right now because my lips are actually burning like I just poured acid on a open wound. I will be right back. Let's see if this works. Oh. Ooh, you guys, I like this. What? What is this formula? This is so nice. I was not expecting that. That is not, what other shades do I have? 
Oh, oh, okay. Wow. <gasps> okay, let's put on red. I am into this. Ooh, okay. Okay, you know why I like this though? The color is super saturated, but the tip of this works kind of like a lip liner, so you can get a really like precise touch up. This is kind of neat. I thought that would be like so dumb, but this is actually like really neat. Okay, I'm getting a little Miranda Sings here. I need to calm down, hold on. This is wild, are you serious right now? And there's like still some left on it and I'm kind of inclined to like save it. Like, can you put it back in your little matchstick? Yep, sure can if you're me, you're gonna pop that back in there. This is so cute, I freaking love this. This was the one thing in here that I was like so certain that I was gonna be like, next, how dumb, who would put lipstick on that way? But I'm really, very surprised that I really, really like that. Yay. The pink was surprisingly pretty too, you guys, and I never ever really wear that kind of a pink. Let me know, am I losing my mind? Or do you guys think that kind of a pink looks looks maybe okay on me? I don't know, maybe, who knows? Okay, you guys, I think it's time for some Blooming Flower 3D eyebrow mascara. It has Minnie Mouse on the top of it. I got in the dumbest fight with James share with you because I felt like he was rushing me while I was shopping for makeup and we were all out as a family like in town and I took way too long okay so I was just like wandering about and I was like everything is new and I'm just like oh my gosh take a picture of this look at that new foundation I don't understand the language but I need all of it I was just really like going to an extreme and I can see that now and I think the rest of my family was like is she serious or, like can she just like speed it up come on we want to see the ocean um but I was just like I just want to look at makeup it's my favorite part of traveling which honestly it actually is I love 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 looking at packaging and the style of product and the trends. Like I love seeing products worldwide. It's really, really fun for me, obviously, cause I review products. So anyway, long story short, like I had like a tiff with him for like a couple of hours where I was just like, Anyway, that was a long story to get to why I own this. It's cause I was rushed by my husband. <laughs> so this like comes out and has Oh, okay, it's one of these guys. So you get a brow pencil and a little thingamadoo. I'll just do like a touch up. I did not think that's what the product was, but you know, okay. Let's just kind of feel the texture of it. Thailand had the cutest products everywhere though. Like everything had a theme. It was all adorable. And like, I just kind of lost my mind for it all. Like I really loved it. I love Thailand too, just the people there. Oh my gosh, like the best people. They're the sweetest, kindest, just, I loved it. I wanna go back so badly. Is it weird that I really like those? I like really like the color of that. Yeah, there's more good than bad here, you guys. This almost never happens when I'm trying out these kind of strange products. So now we have a peel off eyeliner. This is black. Looks like just a regular liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line one eye. For this particular one, I think what I'm gonna do is a little bit of a vlog moment that I will insert of me taking my makeup off and peeling it off and we'll see kind of what the deal is with that. Peel off or no peel off, this is actually really dope liner. So this is the Intuit. Oh my gosh, I say that all of the time. I don't know why that was like my thing all of last year. I would be like, I'm into it. Yeah, I'm in it. And it was like the thing that I said the most. I would look at videos and editing and I'd be like, oh my God, like can we like ditch like maybe three of the I'm into it's because I would say that all of the time. It became just like, just like a thing. So uh, that's kind of funny that it's called into it. I like that. It is waterproof and matte. It says no sponging, does not absorb into the skin, dries matte, easy to remove with a peel off formula. So that's really fascinating. Hey Siri, call my husband. I don't know who your husband is. In fact, I don't know who you are. Siri, get an attitude adjustment, okay? Call husband love of my life. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, can you come to the studio? Yeah, baby. Okay, bye. 
While we're waiting, I'm gonna paint a nail, just one. Oh, that is some strong smelling nail polish though. Woo, gotta open a window. Wow, holy smokes. What do you think of my nail polish? My one. Do you love that? It's so beautiful. You're tricking me about something. No, it's peel off nail polish. What I'd really like you to do is lean in and let me try this Beauty and the Beast man powder on you. You can really? wash it off after. Man powder? It's man, it's man powder for men. Look at the resemblance. You can put it on me. I'm happy to be your guinea pig. I'm gonna keep this for when you do unboxings with me. Cause he always asks to be primed. Are you haunted by the last time that I made your whole face break out? Yes. This is bird's nest droppings. Also known as poop. All of the bird poo and like weird stuff I had him try in that video, I'll link it below. It's a fun time. For the next like two weeks, every day, he'd be like, what have you done to me? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, never again. My face was so broken out. Until now. Hey, does this have bismuth oxychloride in it? We're not sure yet. Oh my gosh, look at one side to the other. That's not, you're horrible at this. Okay, and that was James, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, thank you for Wait, being a good sport. Wait, you gotta even me out. Oh, you wanna be evened out? Okay. Yeah. This might not be your color. I swear to God, no. <laughs> I'm wearing black, leave. Thank you for your participation. I'll make sure to put your name on this one, okay? Really? Yeah, for, you, for when you film with me. It's all yours. What do you mean? This is yours now. All that product? Yeah. Why would I want that? Cause it's man powder. Well, if you're gonna give me man powder, give me Tom Ford man powder. I'm sorry, who are you? My sweet James, who when I first met him, literally used like Irish Springs body wash or whatever, like for the full thing, like for the face, that's it. I'm like, do you moisturize? He's like, mm, no. And I'm like, oh. I need to fix this. I need to like swoop in and you know, do the whole thing. And now I've created a monster who wants Tom Ford powders and Sicily toner. Cool. So uh, you guys, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm actually gonna paint a few more nails. I will insert right now me peeling off the polish. So satisfying. And you know, I feel like all in all, this was a really fun trying weird products video. And I actually really loved a lot of what I tried. I really love the brow product, the lip remover. I really, really love those little matchstick booklets. So cute. The liner went on so smooth and so beautiful that I'm kind of like, eh. Like who cares if it's peel off or whatever, it looks great and it applied so nicely. Okay, you guys, so I just tried to peel off I don't really understand. It's not really peeling off. Let's try this side. There's, there's, I don't understand. There's nothing to peel off. All right, fail. The lip thing that burned next. Thank you, next, bye. And then James's man powder. We're gonna have to upgrade to Tom Ford for James apparently. So yeah, there you go. That is it for this weird AF trying weird products videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share the video, leave me comments, let me know if you like the pink lipstick or the red one better, and let me know if you wanna see more of these weird products videos because I have like five other bins, no joke, of crazy products that are just like kinda strange but kinda fun. So I hope you like this. All right, go have a good one, you guys. Make sure you're subscribed, ring this bell so that you're notified. I'm here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at at 10 a.m. PST. I hope you come back and hang out with me again, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.